All right, guys, you've uh, got your new puppy, your new dog, puppy six months, a year old, two years, maybe even got a rescue at three or four years. You got the little guy home or girl. We're going to go with guy because that's what I have. How do you teach your dog to come when you call them? To start off, we're not going to call them. We're just going to let Diesel wander around the yard. Now, Diesel, unlike my first dog, Bounty, uh, Bounty was trained with nothing more than praise and a toy. No pinch collars, no e-collars, praise and a toy. Diesel here, he likes food. So he's going to be trained with some food. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to walk around the yard, ignore him. He's going to do his thing. Every time he comes to me, I'm going to give him a piece of food. He's going to wander off. I'm going to wander off. He comes back to me. I'm going to give him a, a piece of food. So basically, I am praising him coming to me with food. Just keep walking around. He already knows I have it in my pocket. He saw me. Good boy. Walk away and leave him where he's at. He's following me. He knows I got it in my pocket. This is basically it, folks. So Diesel's played this game before. He knows if he comes to me, the chances are he's going to get some food. Let him wander around and do his own thing. All right, he is really liking that stick. However, good boy. Now I just walk away. He'll sit there and eat it. Just there, he's going to follow me a little bit, but that's okay. Good boy. And it just walk away and leave him there. Now he was playing with a stick and then he decided he was hungry. So then he came to me, he got his treat. So I almost guarantee within two or three days of doing that, your dog will come to you without a problem. Now the food can be used the same way in training as well. Now Diesel, this is not his first time doing this as you can tell. Uh, he will play with the stick, then he'll run to me, play with the stick, run to me. So we have done this numerous times, so he'll come to me without a problem. Diesel also does have the basic commands. He can sit, lay down, come. And that's about as far as we've done with him. We've basically let him be a puppy at six months old. It's time to start moving him into the next phase. Diesel, Diesel, go! Six. Four. That's all you're getting. That's all you're getting. You got nothing else. Where are you? Diesel. Diesel. Come. Good boy. Sit. Good fella. Good boy. Come here, right? Come on. Good boy. Come here. Diesel. Good boy. Good boy. Uh, same thing with hand commands, folks. When you're going to do hand commands, he's just learning those now. He can sit, he can down uh, with the hand, but uh, again, if that's where the reward is, that's what he's going to follow. All the motions. There was no reward in my hand when I told him to sit, but he sat. So. Anyway, that's going to be it. I think this video is kind of short, but I thought I'd pass those tips on. If you're not interested in using food with your dog, you want to use a toy reward or praise, just have the favorite toy. Walk away when the dog comes to you, give him the toy, but make sure you got two. Always make sure you got two. That's another reason for them to come back to you because they know you have a second one. If they've already got that toy, why would they come back if they've already got it? All right, guys, so that's going to be your two quick tips to getting started with your dog. If your dog loves food, it's a great way. Walk around your yard, ignore them. Every time they come to you, you give them a treat. They don't have to sit, they don't have to lay down, they don't have to bark. What you're doing is you're building trust. Then you can move on from there. You can have the dog sit, you can have the dog lay down. That's all I got for today's tips. See you on the next one. Later.